Hello everyone, this is Matt at FixMyGPU.com um, Today we have a netbook which is an Acer uh, Acer 1, I believe it's a D250 dash four other numbers, I don't know, I can't remember them but it's like a uh, Acer 1 D250 um, What happened was the customer brought it to me um, he plug in the charger uh, press the power button and this light right here next to the power button would come on but nothing would happen um, so what I did was I took it all apart I'll show you in a minute and there's the CPU chip the south bridge chip and then the north bridge chip on the bottom of this um, since I didn't really know which one was causing the problem but I had a good idea it's usually the chip right next to the CPU chip um, especially because on this model the heat sink doesn't even cover one of the chips which I believe is the Northbridge chip it doesn't matter it wasn't covering the, the heat sink wasn't covering it so that's generally a good idea that that chip doesn't get hot or hot as much so what I did was I reflowed the, the chip right next to the CPU itself um, and just to check to see if we got power back now when I used to press this button the green light would come on the fan would do absolutely nothing and the screen would do absolutely nothing but now when I push it the light comes on the fan spins up and I get picture so um, obviously we know what the problem is we know what the chip is giving us the problem Okay. Um, so I'm going to pull this board off. I'm going to show you uh, that it does have three chips and they're all soldered to the board. Since this is a netbook it doesn't have a socket spot. Um, some of them do, some of them don't. Um, so it's actually all soldered to the board just like any of the other chips that we deal with are. Um, so I'm going to get it set up over by the Jovi and show you the three chip, different chips. Um, and the, the heat sink on this thing is rinky dinky. I mean it's absolutely nothing. It's almost like a tin foil. So you can understand. Here let me set the camera down. I'll show it to you. Okay, so that metal piece right here comes onto this black piece. The black piece is actually on top of the chip that I reballed. The pe this chip right here uh, is the CPU. So it goes CPU, CPU, then the Southbridge chip or north bridge chip and the other bridge chip um, I think this is the north bridge and this is the south bridge either way this is the only chip that's covered by the heat sink um, so that one obviously was my first attempt and it's what actually fixed it so I'm gonna pop this off um, the only reason why I'm showing these videos, I mean, even though the process is all the same, is just so you can see different symptoms of different types of laptops in case you run into the same symptom. Um, also, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the solder off the chip without using any solder wick at all. I've actually found, uh, been using low melt solder, and it's, it's wonderful. Um, it gets the chip cleaner than I've ever gotten it before and gets the board uh, cleaner than I've ever gotten it before and I don't use any solder wick at all so I'm gonna pause it and get set up so I can show you that so I've got it set up just removed the glue by using the hot air gun and my little tick tool uh, there wasn't a lot there's just a couple little dabs around each corner this is actually the Northbridge chip I looked it up on eBay 
if you don't know what chip it is, you can always go to eBay and type in the, the number that you see on it, and you'll usually see them selling it and with a description. So this is the Northbridge chip. This is the CPU, and this is the Southbridge. This is where our fan was sitting. Um, so we are going to be reballing the Northbridge chip. I'm going to put it on the Jovi. Clean my thermal coupler off with the MEK. Okay, I'm going to turn my lower heater on fast reflow. And since this is since this is still lead-free solder, we're going to have to get it up to around 220 degrees Celsius to remove it. Uh, if it was leaded solder, it would probably remove really easy around 185, 190. But if it's lead-free, you're going to have to get it up a little higher. Um, so I'm going to pause it. And I'm going to turn my upper heater on fast reflow when it hits about 75 degrees Celsius. And then I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, so I'm at 83 degrees. I got my upper heater on fast reflow. When it hits 110, I'm going to swing the upper heater over. I got my level at 4.5 on the upper heater. Now, when I, pulled, when I paused it, I put a little bit of Kapton tape on top of the chip as well. I like to do that so I don't burn the chip or any of the components on top. It's a good habit to get into, so I recommend doing that. And this motherboard ha also has the CMOS battery soldered to the board. So I'm not going to go through the trouble of desoldering that. I'd rather not have voltage going through the board while I'm doing this process, but I'm not going to desolder the battery and then resolder it on. It just takes too much time. Well, it doesn't take much time, but I think it'll be all right. So we're at 147. Now I've got my pick tool here, just in case it won't pick up. I know that the solder underneath will be liquefied. If there's any remaining glue holding it down, I'm going to kind of stick this under it and kind of maybe try to pry it up just a hair, but hopefully it'll just pick up with the suction tool. Okay, we're at 200 right now. Turn my suction on. Two ten.
So you can see I started to use my little tool to lift it up in here. And you want to be careful and not touch any other components when you're doing that. You don't want to move anything while you're trying to lift up the chip by sticking that underneath of it. Okay, so there's a little glue still on the bottom of the chip. I'm going to use my flat razor blade, utility blade, and scrape that off real quick. Get it set up on the blue jig, and then I'll start the film back up. Okay, so what we need to do, once we get the rest of the glue off around the edges, go ahead and put our flux on. Now I use uh, this flux I got off zeph.com, z-e-p-h.com. It's their BGA flux, liquid flux that they have. It's not the no clean, but it's their other one. And I also got this low melt solder from them, um, which is what I use now to clean the pads. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So go ahead and turn on your soldering iron, clean the tip. Got my soldering iron set at 320 degrees Celsius. Go ahead and put some low melt on your tip. Just drag it around and pick up all the old solder. You can see I'm not really even touching the chip with my soldering iron. 